Hello my lovely viewers, this is Taz from Taslima Maya Art. Thank you for being here and I hope you're having a lovely day. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please do consider leaving a like, share and subscribe. And do leave me a comment, I love hearing from you. So this week on the Fluid Art Express, we have a wonderful guest artist lined up for you. And that's Art by Julie E, who is very talented, so please do stay on. She will be up right after me, and then it will be Venom Fluid Art, and the rest of the lineup as usual, as per every Sunday. So I'll put the link to the playlist down in my description box below for you. Today I attempt my very first straight cloud pour, which doesn't quite work out the way I intended. Keep watching! Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluid Art Express this week. I'm just kicking off with my pour that I'm going to attempt today. Um, I'm going to be doing a cloud pour or attempting my very first one. I haven't really done much research on this so I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm using a bunch of old mixed up paints. In truth they've kind of mixed with different pouring mediums and they're leftover paints from before. Some of them are mixed with glue and water, some are mixed with um, vivid enamel and I think some are mixed with a different pouring medium altogether. I'm trying to remember which one. It might be the polypore or something else. So I'm afraid this is not a teaching video as such. It's just a chance for me to have a go and play around and mess around, not really worry too much about different types of recipes and that and just have a bit of a play. Today we have a wonderful guest artist um, coming up after me. It's art by Julie E. Julie is a brilliant artist so do stay on um, after me and uh, jump over to her channel. She's going to create some beautiful art for us today as well. And we have the usual lineup, Venom Fluid Art, um, Creations by Christy, Shan B Fluid Art, Bubbles with Venom Fluid Art and Hippy Dippy Painter Man as well, leading up the caboose. So please do stay on. So I've got here an old scraped canvas. You can see it's seen better days, but I've scraped it off and washed it down. And I popped some push pins on at the bottom and some masking tape. So we've got a transparent glass you can see me layering and I'm going to just go for it really now so I've got a little bit of satin enamel mixed up with some titanium white Amsterdam and that's going to be hopefully my cloud uh, recipe but to be honest I'm not really sure if it's going to work because I've not done any tests and I've never done this technique before so let's go for it I'm just gonna start layering up my cup uh, to begin with so what should we go for first let me think I think I'll just have um this green first, maybe. Maybe a bit more. Now, because I haven't got a lot of paint mixed up, they're all leftovers, I might only do one layer of some colours. So we've got the green in there. I'm going to add a little bit of this turquoise next. Okay. And to the turquoise, I'm going to add the satin enamel mix. Okay. What should we do next? Okay, so we've got those three. We'll add this purple to that. And then maybe this beautiful colour art pigment one. Seems a lot thicker this one actually. Wow, it's very thick. So obviously consistency is very important when doing one of these pores, so doing a cloud pour, straight cloud pour is actually quite a tricky technique. I've got this Pebio colour here now, it's the iridescent green, so gorgeous. Maybe one a bit more. Now, normally, if I had a bigger canvas, I'd be able to put two layers of each colour in. I think in this instance, since it's a little test, I'm only going to be doing one layer of each colour, so it's not to waste too much paint, as the canvas is quite small. I do love this blue, though. I want to get a lot of that blue in there. And I'm likely to actually pop that down a minute. You can see that and scrape the rest of this blue in because there's not much left. And I want to use all of it up. Right. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this 
colour in. And then my satin enamel again. Okay, and then we're going to add some of this copper in, see what happens. It might actually be tilted off since it's towards the end, but I'm going to see what happens. There we go. And then maybe, oops, some of this colour here. And I think that's definitely enough colours in my cup. So this is my cup in case you can't see it and I'm going to add the rest of this down as a pillow. I'm ready, so I'm going to move a few things out the way just so I don't knock them over. Okay, so now I'm going to take my cup and I'm going to start pouring it. Okay, I'll go around the other side so I'm going to pour it and see it. And hopefully, you'll be able to see me pouring this out now. They call me sassy when I'm strolling down the street. They call me classy when I'm serving. Just the best I can be deadly When I find somebody lovely And now I'm ready Like a kitty in a dress Don't call me mean I just want someone to love me Someone to lick my wounds And kiss my aching body My desperation knows no termination That's the rest of the cup, it's all emptied and it's all on there. It's a little lopsided, so I'm gonna try and lift it now so you can see what it looks like. And I'm just going to Love me someone to lick my wounds and kiss my aching 
Body, my desperation knows no termination, baby. Now, would you, would you love me if I was somebody else? Wish I had a tail. Wish I had a tail. Cause if I did, then I would swing it, be swinging it in front of you. If I had a tail. If I had a It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's got this emerald kind of sheen to it. I'm trying to pick up. And it's got this one side of it that needs a fair bit of covering. But generally speaking, it's not much movement left on the surface now, so I might move it back this way just for composition. But it is stunning. I mean, like, look at that. I really like it. Different. It's got a lot of pearlescent and um, extreme sheen colours. That's an extreme sheen colour mixed with some colour wrap pigments, and it's gorgeous. So I will leave it at that and take you down for a close up inspection. Look at all those different layers. Really beautiful. There's purples, pinks, greens. You can see subtle hints of copper, like there. Look at all those lines. And again, the result is probably because I've got different types of pouring mediums mixing up together. So I will have to see how this actually dries and if it dries as pretty as it is now um, and I can see this as a perfect background for later so I think it would work really well as a background for some embellishment so pretty so much movement Okay, so that's it for today. I will share a dried version of this 
on my community tab for next week once it's dry and I'll let you know if I do end up embellishing this one as well. I think it is perfect for embellishment but we will see how it dries. That's it for now and up next is the wonderful art by Julie E so do jump aboard her video and I'll see you in the live chat. Bye for now. And just before you go, very quickly, here's another one I poured straight after this one with the leftover paints and it came out completely differently because of the layers and the layering. See you on Julie's video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.